So today we are going to talk about what to expect from the next high-end MacBooks from Apple. I'm talking about the 14 inch and 16 inch MacBook Pros, this Apple Silicon. Let's start with the first item on our list and it is no touch bar. I don't think it justifies the higher price and all of the problems people have with touch bars, including me, like I had so many freezing problems with touch bar on multiple MacBooks actually. So I don't think it's something like specific to some machine. It's, it's actually widespread problem, this touch bar. So it is a wish and prediction for me because I think that Apple will admit that touch bar wasn't their greatest hour as Steve Jobs told about mobile me when he was presenting iCloud. And honestly, iCloud turned out to be much better. So hopefully Apple will bring some other technology, maybe something better than touch bar. The next thing for me is a new design, which is supposed to be more like iPad. And I like iPad. It is my favorite device right now. And I do like the squared edges, but honestly, I don't see how this can be used in a MacBook. I was actually using Pixel Book, uh, Chromebook Pixel, uh, the first and second generation as well. I liked the Chromebook Pixel. I really enjoyed the design. I liked the industrial design. It was kind of squared, something similar to iPad. And it was, it had touch screen. It was very high quality display. So it was ahead of its time basically because nobody needed Chromebook so powerful and so good looking. And at the end of the day, of course, I sold it many, many years ago, but I do think that if Apple decides to bring some kind of new squared design to the MacBook, they can take a couple of things from Chromebook Pixel's book because it had very industrial, very cool looking design. Maybe this is something we will see in the next MacBooks. I wish there will be new design. I think it's been a while since Apple updated there. Uh, basically since 2016, we didn't have like dramatic changes to their design. And I do think it is a prediction as well as my wish. So this will happen because even 14 inch MacBook Pro, it can be just the bigger version of this 13 inch MacBook Air or MacBook Pro. I think it will be dramatically different. And that's something I'm very excited about. One of the things I'm excited about is slimmer bezels. I mean, one of the things I hope for, so it is my wish. Apple will make the bezels on especially the 14 inch uh, design much slimmer than they are right now on this 13 inch. And they kind of did that to 16 inch model a couple of years ago, but for 13 inch model, they didn't touch it. So hopefully this 14 inch MacBook Pro, Apple will make the slim bezels and well on 16 inch, I don't know what they will do, but maybe even slimmer on 16 inch as well but they should keep it there, I mean the bezel, because there is another couple of items on this list I want them to put there. Next one on my list is FaceTime 4K camera. And I know it's too optimistic to be true, because even on this uh, MacBook Pro 13 inch or MacBook Air I have in front of me, they have 720p camera. This is some better image processing, as they say, M1 chips kind of improves the quality and I do think that it looks better. But 4K on MacBook, I don't think it will happen. So it's not a prediction, but I wish it will. And they can do that by just taking the camera they have on iPhone and put it in the bezel here. Obviously, this is much slimmer than what we have in iPhone. So the back panel of this display panel of the MacBook should be much thicker. But I guess if they will change the design some kind of dramatic way, maybe this is something they can do. Maybe instead of having this like rounded edges, they can make them square. And by doing that, they can in include the bigger sensor, basically what we have on iPhone. 12 or even 11, I think, was recording 4K video just fine. Another thing this camera from iPhone can bring to the MacBook is 
Face ID. That's something I was kind of hoping for for a couple of years now, but because I do enjoy it more than fingerprint reader, obviously this COVID and everything, right now fingerprint reader is very welcome, but well, we, we do have it on this MacBook Air in front of me, and I do think that both 14 and 16 inch will continue to have the fingerprint like power button. Even though we might lose the touch bar, the fingerprint is going to stay there for sure. It's very popular. I think it's very cool to have on the MacBook and it's cool. But if we have Face ID on the MacBook, that's a different story because I don't know about you, but I do use MacBook without my mask most of the time. When it comes to phone, I walk around, maybe outside I do wear a mask often. So Face ID on the phone, it's kind of not very perfect right now. But for MacBook, I think that Face ID will make more sense, to be honest, at the moment. And, well, if we will have the 4K FaceTime camera, the same we have on iPhone, why not put all of the other sensors and make the um, MacBook also work this Face ID? So it is a wish, but it's not a prediction, because unfortunately, I don't think we will get Face ID here. I think the most we can hope for is the FaceTime 1080p camera, this improved image processing like Apple done, done to the MacBook Air and 13-inch MacBook Pro. So I have gone through half of the items on my list and if you stay until the end you will be surprised because there are a couple of things nobody is talking about which I hope for and they maybe will come to the MacBook 14-inch or 16-inch, we will see. But let's start with something which is actually rumored and it is the new collection of ports. And when people say ports, I guess somebody can like dream about USB-A, but honestly I don't think and I don't hope that USB-A will come to MacBook. What I hope for and what I think Apple will actually bring to the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros is the SD card slot. I think that SD card slot will be very welcomed by the photographer community, videographer community, all of the YouTubers and basically everybody who is using the camera. Because I guess I can leave this like absence of HDMI cable because we have USB-C and Thunderbolt cables which provide very good, very like perfect connection for the external displays. But when it comes to SD cards, there is just no way around it. You have to buy a dongle or you can connect your camera of course directly to your computer and there are so many situations when it's not possible maybe you need to use your camera at the same time as you like maybe switch the card and you want to copy the footage to your mac and you can do that if unless you have a dongle this sd card slot in it and unless apple releases their own apple camera which will somehow automatically like maybe using this airdrop like technology bring the footage from your iphone 4k 8, 8k whatever it is to your mac in super fast speeds unless they do that i don't think absence of sd card can be justified any longer because well if we're bringing back the mac safe slot which is the next on this list i think that we should get back sd card slot Okay, you already know what it is next on our list and it is MagSafe. I guess we are talking about what we had before because it will be strange to put this MagSafe. Although maybe... I'm kidding. I don't think this is the MagSafe we will be seeing on MacBook. And the old MagSafe was quite loved by many people. Honestly, it's not something I hope for. It's not a wish for me because I do like to use USB-C cable for everything. This is the HDMI cable, by the way, this USB-C adapter. I like for Apple to kind of just stick this there USB-C strategy and only maybe put the SD card slot there. But it is rumored and I will not give this a wish and I will not give it a prediction, even though many reports suggest it is what is going to happen. I will give this a solid maybe. And the next item on this list, I already told you, it's uh, four or six Thunderbolt ports. And I guess I shouldn't even put this on this list because we already have that on the uh, this year's 16-inch MacBook Pro. But I do hope we have four USB-C ports, uh, USB-C 4 
Thunderbolt ports on 14 inch MacBook Pro and six of them on the 15, uh, sorry, 16 inch MacBook Pro. Or they can make it five maybe if they have like SD card slot and two USB-C ports on one side, then three on the other, on the other side. But if they bring this MagSafe port, maybe like two USB-C ports and one MagSafe port, I don't know. This is, I wish for four of the ports and I do predict that we will have four of them. Okay, next one is something I'm very excited about and something I very like about this guy as well. And it is 20 plus hours of battery life. And if they keep the same battery we have in the 16 inch MacBook Pro right now, which is 100 watt, I think, the maximum allowed capacity, and the new M1X or M2 chip follows the structure of M1 chip we have in this MacBook Air, which is basically high efficiency and high performance cores, I think that 28 or at least 24 hours of battery life, at least on 16 inch model, is not as crazy as it sounds because the high efficiency cores in this MacBook Air are very good at preserving battery life. I'm, I'm amazed how good it is. I, I will talk about this in the next video more, but honestly, uh, yesterday I brought this MacBook Air to a coffee shop and I've been in a coffee shop for two hours, 20 minutes. But basically what happened is I had uh, this MacBook unplugged for two hours, 20 minutes, and the battery life went from 100% to 97%, just 3% in two hours, 20 minutes. And honestly, I wasn't trying to preserve the battery life. I forgot about it. I basically used mail. I, I answered some mail. I browsed a couple of websites and I was typing a lot of text in the Apple notes. So something which high efficiency course will be used for. And Maybe the important thing to keep in mind here, I was using basically Apple Apple reminders as well, Apple apps, the default apps we have on uh, MacBook. So these are all optimized for M1 chip and all of them, I think, were using the high efficiency cores. So in situations like this, the battery life on this device is not like just 15 hours because honestly, when I do some video editing, it's not 15 hours, it's even less than 10. But when it comes to email, maybe bro light browsing without watching video, without streaming, stuff like that, like notes, uh, reminders, apps like this will give you more than 20 hours of battery life even on this MacBook Air. So it is a wish and it is a bold prediction. I do think we will have 24 hour battery life on the next MacBook Pro. Okay, I have a couple of things left on my list and these are actually not something people talk about at the moment. And the first one is 5G. 5G is not something I hope for, it's not a wish for me and it is not a prediction. I don't think they will do that this year. It will make it more expensive, so this, this is why I don't want it to see there, unless it is a separate option, but I don't think they want to make this too many options for their MacBooks. But yeah, 5G is not solid, but it is maybe for me. And the final thing on this list, and sorry for this crazy long video, I've never done something like that before, but I'm just too excited about this new model, so I thought maybe you will be too. I mean, we are bringing back the... the oh, yeah, I hope we won't use these things anymore, this new MacBook Pro. The theme for this MacBook was already a little bit kind of nostalgic, you can see, right? Like SD card slot, MagSafe port. I think that there is one thing they can do to the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros, the new models this year, which will be the perfect one more thing. I'm talking about the glowing logo, glowing Apple logo. And it's not something like critical for me. I do like all of this stainless steel or whatever, like glassy logos here, but I will be lying if I say that 
I don't wish for it. It will be so cool to have this glowing logo back on a MacBook. It will probably be the, the loudest cyber online cheer from the Apple fans across the world. If Apple brings the glowing logo is maybe one more thing during their event. And it is not a prediction for me, it's only a wish. And it is optimistic. You know what? It's optimistic prediction. I was going to say optimistic maybe, but let's make this optimistic prediction. I do hope and I do think that Apple will surprise everybody. And in addition to bringing back the MagSafe, the card slot and all of the good stuff I was talking about in this video, they will bring back the shining, glowing Apple logo. Okay, that's it for my list. Very long video. Hopefully it wasn't too boring for you. And it wasn't for me because I'm very excited for these MacBooks. And this is the MacBook I want to purchase. This is the MacBook which pushed me to sell my 16-inch MacBook Pro and buy this M1 Air instead, which I hope to give to my wife in about a year or so. Once again, please, in the comments below, let me know what you are excited about the most about this upcoming high-end MacBook Pros. For me, it will be probably the battery life and performance. The two things I actually very like about this M1 chip, but the graphic performance is not as good on this uh, M1 chip as on 16-inch MacBook Pro because it is integrated graphics at the end of the day. At the moment, uh, dedicated graphics are kind of beating this <laughs> by a big margin. So hopefully the new 16-inch MacBook Pro will surprise us this amazing performance when it comes to not just CPU but GPU as well. And yeah, I will be here to talk about this when it will be out and I will go through this list again and see if I was right and maybe my wishes like 4K camera, face ID or glowing Apple logo will come true. Okay, have a nice week, very productive week and I will talk to you very soon because I do like to talk about this stuff and there are so much things we can talk about and so much, so much things I want to cover on this channel going forward. Thanks for watching, have a nice week and I will talk to you in the next video.